Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. We got one more game for the night. It's our 1964 Boston Red Sox replay, Tony Canigliero's rookie year. Using out of the ballpark 19, out of the ballpark 20 will be coming out in March. Very excited about that. I was reading about the new uh, things to look forward to in that game. But in the retro time machine, it's June 3rd, 1964. We are playing as played lineups, as played pitching. I have less of a feel for this team than I do the Mets because I'm doing what they did. And we have a losing record. In actuality, the Red Sox in 1964 at this time period were about a 500 team. So let's see if we can reverse the fortunes here. This is the second game of a doubleheader. We lost game one in miserable fashion yesterday offline. Beatles Eternally has made the trip out to LA. He's in the, in the stands. He says out of the park baseball 20 is going to be amazing. Yes it is my friend. Look forward to it. JD has entered the chat. He's here at the stadium. How you doing my friend? Check out JD. Wonderful channel. Just finished up um, the new Call of Duty World War II. So check out all those videos along as well as his UFC and much much more. W Vogs 18 is in the chat. I was in his live stream chat today. Nice friend of the channel, W Vogs 18. Please check him out and subscribe. He had um he went to the um Hornets game yesterday and he got some really cool autographs. He went with his friend and uh live stream was very nice. It was pleasant, nice thing to come home to before I had to make dinner. Um, so check out W Vogs 18. All right, let's get to the ball game and let's watch our beloved 1964 Red Sox lose. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I just don't have a feel for this team. Again, I'm playing with the as played lineups and stuff. Um, I'm not, you know, like I do with the Mets where I mix and match. So. All right, here we go. Let's get to the starting lineups and play. Let's close this out, though. Play some baseball. All right. For the visiting Red Sox game, two of this doubleheader, they dropped game one. If they win, they'll get a split with the Angels, two games apiece. As the Red Sox took the first, lost the second and third, and now hope to win the fourth. Dalton Jones will be playing second base, leading off Tony Canigliero's in center. He's batting second. Batting third in left field, Carly Stremski batting fourth, the first baseman, Dr. Strangelove, Dick Stewart. Batting fifth, the clutch hitting third baseman, Frank Malzone. Batting sixth in right field for the Red Sox, Lou Clinton. Batting seventh, the shortstop, Eddie Brissou. Batting eighth, doing the catching, is uh, Tillman. Bob Tillman. And batting ninth, doing the pitching, is Bill Spanswick. For the hometown Los Angeles Angels, with a record of 26 and 22, the Red Sox are 16 and 29. God awful. Uh, leading off will be Pearson. He's in center, batting second. The shortstop Kopi, batting third. The third baseman Moran, batting fourth. The first baseman Adcock, batting fifth. The right fielder Thomas, batting sixth. Left fielder Kirkpatrick, batting seventh. The second baseman Noop, batting eighth, doing the catching as he was at first in game one, is Satriano. And batting ninth on the mound is Barry Lapman. Oh, I'm sorry about that, W. Vogs. I've used the S word and worse on my streams, but I hear you. That's usually with chats with Al, though. But yeah, it was a fun time. I enjoyed it. I, I like to catch... Uh, people I subscribe to when they do live streams. All right, so here comes Dalton Jones batting 276 with five ribbies, no home runs. Likes to hit early in the count. Latman gives up some base hits early in the count. Jones will swing away. The wind up and the pitch to Jones. Jones swings at the first pitch, grounds the first, and Adcock retires and one down. Now bring up the youngster, Tony Canigliero, 293, 10 home runs, and 20 ribbies. Tremendous power, right-handed bull hitter. Satriano goes through the signs. Latman nods his head, the wind-up, and the pitch to Tony Canigliero. 
0-2 count. And he goes down looking inside fastball. Didn't like the call. Two down. And now bring up another youngster. Came up in 61 after the retirement of Ted Williams, Carly Stremski. He's batting 271, five home runs, 28 ribbies. Left-handed batter. Bate, uh, Lateman kicks and deals to Yaz. Full count. And Yastrzemski works a walk. Inning stays alive. Dave Gardner has jumped into the chat. How are you, my friend? How's your mom doing? Hope all is well. As he says, nice, out of the park. Yes, how goes... I, I know you've been busy with your mom. Have you been any way to... Have you done any gaming to try to ease your mind? I know it's not an easy thing. So your Stremski's at first, and here comes Dr. Strangelove, Dick Stewart. 243, 11 home runs and 26 ribbies. Yaz takes a lead from first. Adcock holding him on. Here's the pitch to Stewart. 0-1. Stewart swings the lumber, and that's a base hit to center. Yastrzemski hits second base and holds. Good strong throw to third by Pearson. He has an excellent arm. Let me give you the de defense for the Angels. Behind the plate, Satriano's 5 out of 10 arm. I use a 1 through 10 rating system. And defensively, he is a 6 out of 10. Billy Moran's at third, 5 out of 10. Kopi is 6 out of 10 at short. Noop is outstanding at second, 9 out of 10. And Adcock, very good at short. First, 7 out of 10. Dave Garner says, I spoke to Mom today for the first time in two weeks. She is improving. Excellent. 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 I've been praying for her, my friend. That's wonderful news. Out and left, Ed Kirkpatrick. 6 out of 10 defense, 10 out of 10 arm. Albie Pearson with an excellent arm, 8 out of 10. Defensive range, not so good, 4 out of 10. And Lee Thomas, 7 out of 10 defense, 10 out of 10 arm. So, here comes Frank Malzone. He loves to hit with runners in scoring position, batting 353, but he's only one for six off Lateman. That one hit was a home run, though. Two outs, two on. Here's the pitch to Malzone. 2-2 two -two count. Malzone swings, and he punches it through the left side. Yastrzemski is going to score. The throw will not be in time. As Malzone, once again, loves to hit in the clutch. Picks up RBI number 25, 1-0 Boston. Stewart and Malzone are on. Very slow runners, and here comes Lou Clinton, the right fielder, batting 220 with five ribbies, no homers. He is two for three off Leitman so far in the year. Chance for the Red Sox to put out a few more runs and do a little more damage. Latman looks in, picks up the sign from Satriano. Here's the pitch to Lou Clinton. 2-1, and Clinton punches that ball to shallow right, coming in to make the catch is Thomas. The side is retired, but the Red Sox strike first on the Malzone single. Bottom of the first, one up in Boston. Two up for the Los Angeles Angels, Pearson, Kopey, and Moran. Albie Pearson, 215, one home run and 10 ribbies. On the mound, Bill Spanswick, who we used in relief two days ago, is 2-3. He has struck out 14, walked 12. Quality of pitches above average. Movement and control below average. He's got to hit his spots. Pearson, left-handed batter. Excellent eye. Below average hitter, though. Here's the pitch. Lefty to lefty from Spanswick to Pearson. 1-0. Pearson swings. Shallow fly ball to left. Yastrzemski coming in, coming in, and he makes the catch. Oh, he drops the ball. Unbelievable. Yastrzemski drops the ball. I counted the chickens before the eggs hatch, and the tying run is at first. Albie Pearson, a very good base runner. And here comes Joe Kopey. Red Sox are hoping to turn two. Kopey, right-handed normal hitter, batting below 200. He does have a homer and seven ribbies. Spanswick. Kicks in, deals to Kopey. 1-2. Fly ball, shallow right. 
Luke Clinton going, coming in, going out is Dalton Jones, and Dalton Jones makes the over-the-shoulder catch, quickly retreating back to first is Pearson. Nice play by the Red Sox second baseman, Dalton Jones. Let's give you the defense for the Red Sox. Behind the plate, Bob Tillman, 7 out of 10 arm, 9 out of 10 defense. Malzone and Eddie Brasseau on the left side, both 6 out of 10 in the infield. And on the right side, not so good. Dalton Jones, even though he made that fantastic play, along with Dr. Strangelove, Dick Stewart, they're both 3 out of 10. Yastrzemski outstanding in left. He did drop that ball, though. 8 out of 10 defense, 10 out of 10 arm. Tony C., Tony Canigliero, not much range in center, but an excellent arm, 9 out of 10. And Lou Clinton, very good in right. 7 out of 10 defense, 10 out of 10 arm. So one out, one on for Billy the Kid Moran, batting 218, no homers, and 10 ribbies. Average contact hitter, very little power, good eye. Red Sox will move to double play depth. As Bursu and Dalton Jones pinch the middle, Spanswick throws over to first. Ooh, he was leaning. He was leaning. Pearson has to dive back in. Again, Spanswick looks to first. Stewart holding on Pearson. Here's the pitch to Billy Moran. 2-2 two -two count. Moran, fly ball. Right center, Caligniero on the run, calls off Clinton for out number two. Retreating again to first is Pearson. Original Grognard has showed up here in Los Angeles. How you doing, my friend? Wonderful channel, the OG. Check him out. All things military strategy and much more, including his women's wrestling. Here comes Joe Adcock. 239, nine homers, 15 ribbies. Right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield. And outfield will shift left. Spanswick deals to Adcock. 1-1 one, one count. Oh, the ball gets away from Tillman. Advancing into scoring position is Pearson. And that was a wild pitch. The count's now 2-1. and one. Spanswick rubbing up the baseball. Gets back up on the bump. He's ready to work. Once again, he deals to Adcock. 2-2 two -two count. Ground ball to pursue. Over to Strangelove. At first, Dick Stewart, and the side is retired. Angel Strand 1. We go to the top of the second. 1-0 Boston. Due up for the 64 Red Sox. Pursue Tillman and Spanswick. Eddie Pursue batting 265. 7 home runs, 12 ribbies. He likes to hit early in the count. And he's 2 for 5 off Latman. Barry Lapman shakes off Centrano, Satriano, excuse me. Now he's ready. Here's the pitch to pursue. 2-2. Two -two. And pursue a swing and a miss. Way out in front of the off speed. One down. Second strikeout for Barry Lapman. Here comes Bob Tillman. Tillman batting 258, 5 homers, 16 ribbies. 0 for 3 off Lapman. He awaits the offering. Pitch homeward bound. 0-2 count. Ground ball back to Latman. He throws to first two away. Base is empty. And Latman will now face his counterpart, Billy Spanswick. Spanswick on the season. Against righties is 0-4-7. Here's the pitch to Spanswick. 0-2, swing and a miss, strike three. Latman picks up his third K, 1-2-3, go the Sox. Side is retired. We go to the bottom of the second, 1-0 Boston. Due up for the Angels will be Thomas, Kirkpatrick, and Noop. Lee Thomas, right fielder, average power, contact, and eye. He does have seven homers, 23 ribbies, and a 245 batting average. Left-handed normal hitter. Lefty-lefty matchup. Spanswick deals to Lee Thomas. 1-2 count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And that's Spanswick's first K. Another left-handed batter. Ed Kirkpatrick steps to the plate. Batting below 200. He does have a homer and eight ribbies. He's a spray hitter. Choking up just a bit on the bat. The windup and the pitch to Kirkpatrick. He swings at the first pitch. Fly ball center field coming in is Canigliero, and he'll make the catch two away. 
So two outs, base is empty for Bobby Noop. Batting 244, six home runs, 25 ribbons. Spansworth deals quickly to Noop. Right-handed batter. Punches it right field, right center. Lou Clinton on the run. It's going to drop in, though. So a two-out single for Bobby Noop. Not very speedy, but a good base stealer. Seven out of ten. Speed only two out of ten. Number eight batter is the catcher, Tom Satriano, batting below 200. One homer, four ribbies. How this team has won 26 games is beyond me, but they have. On deck is the pitcher. Spanswick rocks and fires to Satriano. Satriano swings at the first pitch, punches it towards shirt. Bursu flips to Dalton Jones for the force out, and the side is retired. We go to the top of the third, 1-0 Boston. Top of the order for the Red Sox, Jones, Canigliero, and Yastrzemski. Dalton Jones is 0 for 1. Latman nods his head. The windup and the pitch to Jones. Jones swings at the first pitch, punches it right side, and he'll be thrown out by the Angels' second baseman, Noop. One down. Polite applause from the Angels fans here in L.A. And here comes the youngster, Tony Canigliero. He is 0 for 1, looking for home run number 11. He awaits the Latman offering. Pitch inbound. 2-2 Two -two count. And shallow left coming in is Kirkpatrick. He makes the catch as Canigliero caught it off the end of the bat. As Dave Gardner in the chat says, I heard out of the park 20 was going to have improved animations. Yes, they are. So we look forward to that. And here comes Carl Yastrzemski. He walked and has made an error in left. Here's the pitch to Yaz. 1-1 one, one count. Yastrzemski swings, and that is a base hit past the shortstop, Kopi, into center. So Yastrzemski's on first. 1-0 one, Red Sox. One out, and here comes Dick Stewart. He is 1-for-1. One one. Looking for home run number 12. Yaz takes a slight lead. Adcock holding him on. Satriano wiggles the fingers. Here's the pitch to Dr. Strangelove, Dick Stewart. Full count. Stewart swings, sends that ball deep to left. It's a towering shot. Will it be enough to get out? No. Kirkpatrick makes the catch at the warning track as Dick Stewart just got under that one. He just missed a two-run homer. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the third. one nothing Boston. Due up here in L.A. for the um, Angels. Lateman. And then top of the order, Pearson and Colby. Spansworth deals to his counterpart, Leitman. Ground ball to Malzone. Malzone comes up firing to Stewart. One down. Leitman still is hitless. He's now 0 for 11. And here's Albie Pearson. 0 for 1 today, the center fielder. Lefty-lefty matchup. Spanswick shakes off Tillman. Now he's ready. He deals to Pearson. 0-1. Pearson swings, grounds it to Dalton Jones, moving towards the second base bag. He throws him out, two away. And here comes Joe Kopey. The shortstop, he is 0 for 1. Tillman wiggles the fingers. The windup and the pitch to Joe Kopey. He swings at the first pitch. Hard hit ball to Jones. He throws to Stewart. One, two, three, go with the Angels. Top of the fourth, one nothing Boston. Beatles Eternally in the chat says, Out of the Park 20 will have motion capture animation, so they will be a lot more realism, like shoestring catches, etc. That is so cool. So here's Frank Malzone. He's one for one, knocked in the only run of the game, thus the one nothing lead for the Red Sox. Barry Leitman up on the bump. The windup and the pitch to Malzone. Full count. Malzone swings at the outside pitch, sends it to third, and he is out. Good strong throw by Moran. He yanked that outside pitch. He pulled it. Probably should have went with it. So one out. No one on for Lou Clinton, the right fielder. He's 0 for 1, and that's it. 
The Angels will now go to Don Lee. Don Lee, so far in our replay, one win, one loss, 5.19 earned run average, striking out 15, walking 8, and he gives up a ton of hits early. Lou Clinton loves that. He loves to hit early. First time he'll see Lee. Lee done with his warm-up tosses. Clinton digs in the right-hander's batter's box. Here's the pitch to Lou Clinton. 0-1. Oh, Clinton, base hit down the left field line. Will he dig for two? He's going for it. Here's the throw. The slide, and he is safe. A hustle double for Lou Clinton. Kirkpatrick got there quickly, but he could not deny the double to Clinton. So one out. Clinton's at second. Not a speedy runner, but a good base stealer. So here's Eddie Brissou. He's 0 for 1. 7 homers, 12 ribbies, 264. Again, Brissou's one of these Red Sox who loves to jump on that first pitch. Don Lee likes to oblige. The wind-up and the pitch to Eddie Brissou. Full count. Brissou, that's a hard hit ball to center, but right there is Pearson. He makes the catch. Bluffing but not going is Clinton. He's at second. Two outs. Here's the catcher, Bob Tillman, Spanswick's on deck. Let's see how they're going to pitch to Tillman. Will they give him anything to hit? He's got to look for that first pitch. Clinton takes his lead. He'll be off on contact. Lee kicks and fires. And Tillman swings at the first pitch, numbs it back to Lee, who throws him out at first. The side is retired. The double doesn't hurt. Bottom of the fourth, one nothing Boston. Spanswick back up on the mound. And he's thrown 31 pitches. He's exhausted. I didn't pay attention to that. We are hosed. And now we're going to go with Ed Conley Jr. Why they didn't start him, I don't know. But maybe he was hurt. But we're going to him. So he's going to quickly warm up. And also Bob Hefner, the righty, will warm up. So Spanswick has to try to work his way through one more half inning here. Billy Moran is 0 for 1. Right-handed spray hitter. Here's the pitch from Spanswick to Moran. And he walked him. That was low. Tying run at first. And a very dangerous Joe Adcock at the plate. Very good power. He's 0 for 1 today with, 15 home, uh, with 9 homers and 15 ribbies. Here comes the mound visit. As he says, I can barely lift my arm. And we're going to have to make a pitching change here. And it's going to be... Oh my God, pick your poison. <laughs> well, let's go with Hefner. Let's see who's coming up. Spanswick's batting next, but I'm not doing a double switch. So Hefner is going to come in the game. Conley will continue to warm. So here's Bob Hefner. One win, no losses. ERA, 7.62. He struck out 19, walked 15. Tying run at first. Adcock at the plate. Hefner done with his warm-up tosses. Has a word with Tillman. Tillman back behind the plate. Squats down. Here's the pitch to Adcock. Full count. And he walked him. Low one inside. Ball four. So two consecutive walks, tying run at second, go-ahead run at first for Lee Thomas, the right fielder. Thomas, with runners in scoring position, is batting 265. Hefner, hoping to induce the double play ball. Here's the pitch to Thomas. Full count. Shallow fly ball to center. Canigliero comes racing in, and he makes the basket catch, firing it back in towards the shortstop. Eddie Brissou, one away, retreating back to second is Billy Moran, and Adcock scampers back to first. So one out, two on for the left-handed batting. Ed Kirkpatrick. Conley is ready, but he'll sit down for the moment. Kirkpatrick batting 240 with runners in scoring position. Has not faced Hefner yet this year. Hefner rocks and fires to Kirkpatrick. 0-1, Kirkpatrick swings. Hard hit ball, pursue to Jones. 
to Stewart. Double play. As Hefner does, his J-O-B gets out of that mess. With the pitcher's best friend, two for one. The double play. We go to the top of the fifth. one nothing Boston. They are clinging to that one-run lead. They desperately want to win. Here comes Bob Hefner. He will hit for himself. Here's the pitch for Lee. Hefner swing and a miss on the curve. One away. Dalton Jones steps to the plate. Second baseman's 0 for 2. Righty-lefty matchup. Jones batting 266 off right-handed pitching. Lee kicks and fires. Full count. Jones rips a shot to right. And racing in, making the line drive catch on the line drive, excuse me, is Thomas. Jones hit it on the screws, but a nice catch by Thomas. So two outs, base is empty for Tony Canigliero. He's 0 for 2. Infield, outfield, straight away and normal for Tony C. Satriano sets the target. Here's the pitch to Canigliero. 2-2 two -two count, and Canigliero punches it out to left. Shallow left coming in as Kirkpatrick makes the catch. Side is retired. Tough day for Tony C. He's 0 for 3. Bottom of the fifth, one nothing Boston. And let's get Conley back up in the pen. Oh, shoot. we got to get out of here. Go to substitutions. Let's get Ed Conley Jr. back up. And Hefner will face Bobby Noop, who is one for one. Here's the pitch to Bobby Noop. One, two. Noop swings. Down the left field line, and Yastrzemski makes the running catch. As that looked like it was going to drop in, but Yastrzemski with a great jump on it. As he flips the ball back towards in the infield, one away. Tom Satriano, left-handed batting catcher, strides the plate. He is 0 for 1. Hefner deals quickly to Satriano. Full count. And he walks him. Mound visit. Conley's ready. Hefner says he's good. We'll go righty-righty matchup here. Here's the pitch to Lee. And he bunts. Fielded by Tillman, who goes to second, and on to first, and they turn two. What a play by Tillman. Unbelievable. We're going to have to watch that over. I think that went Tillman Brasu to Dr. Strangelove Dick Stewart. Tillman jumped right on that bunt, fired down to second, and let's watch that replay. Tillman barehands it. Yep, it's to Eddie Brasu. Brasu, quick release on to Stewart, and the side is retired. Conley will take his seat once again. Top of the six, one nothing Boston. Here comes Carl Yastrzemski. He is one for one with a walk and an error. Lee picks up the sign. Here's the pitch to Yaz. Full count, and Yastrzemski sends that ball deep to left. Kirkpatrick on the run, and he makes the catch, reaching up and snaring that fly ball. One down. Dr. Strangelove just missed a homer. As he got under it, flew out to deep left. He awaits the Don Lee offering. Here's the pitch. 0-2. And three. he goes down looking. As he walks back to the dugout. Two outs. No one on. For Frank Malzone, who's knocked in the only run in the ball game. Malzone looking for a pitch. He can tee it high and let it fly. Satriano wiggles the fingers. Lee acknowledges with a quick nod of the head. He rocks and fires to Malzone. Malzone swings at the first pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Kopi has it. Throws to first. And the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth. Red Sox still up 1-0. Conley will get back up again. Raditz is available for this game. Conley is ready. Conley is ready. Top of the order for the Angels. Pearson, Kopey, and Moran. Here's the mound visit. How do I feel? Pretty good. But we're going to change pitchers here. As Conley will come in the game. Hefner does his job. Can Conley get through a couple innings to get to the monster, Dick Raddatz? Ed Conley, 0-1, with a 6.46 earned run average. He struck out 22, walked 22. 
Quality of pitches, 6 out of 10. Movement, 6 out of 10. But control, not so good, 3 out of 10. Conley deals to Albie Pearson, who is 0 for 2. 1 2 count. Swing and a miss. Nasty movement on that pitch. Strikes out the first batter he sees. And here comes Joe Copey. Shortstop, he's 0 for 2. Tillman wants to keep Conley Jr. in that rhythm. He wants him to work quickly. Here's the pitch homeward bound to Copey. Full count. Ground ball to pursue. He ranges two of the bag, throws to first, and there's two down. And again, they quickly throw it around and get it to Conley as Tillman wants to keep the youngster in that rhythm. He's set to work. He deals to Billy Moran, who's 0 for 1. Moran grounds a pursue, rinse and repeat. He throws to Stewart, and the side is retired. Conley pats his glove and comes off the mound to the dugout. Top of the seventh, one nothing. Red Sox. Two up for Boston. Clinton, pursue and Tillman. If anyone gets on, Ed Conley Jr. Lou Clinton is one for two. Lee's ready to work. The windup and the pitch to Clinton. 2-1 count. Clinton, base hit, up the middle, past the dive of Kopey. And the Red Sox have picked up their sixth hit of the ball, the fifth hit, excuse me, of the ball game. And here comes Eddie Bursu. Horrible at sacrifice bunting, but a bunting for a hit is a six. We might take a shot anyway. Tillman's on deck. Clinton. A good bait. You know what? We're going to play hit and run here. Here's the pitch from the new pitcher. Dubly. Dubly. That's a base hit to left. And going first to third is Clinton. So the hit and run works to perfection. Great piece of hitting by Eddie Bursu. The Red Sox, who are up 1-0, greet Bob Duliba quite rudely. Duliba is one win, one loss, 3.05 earned run average. He struck out 10, walked 12. And he gives up a lot of hits early on. As joining us here at the stadium is Robbie Wartburg. Hope all is well, my friend. Here comes Bob Tillman. Red Sox catcher is 0 for 2. Conley's on deck. Pursues at first. Clinton is at third. Hit and run once again to stay out of the double play. There goes the runner. And he pops it up to third. Making the catch is Moran. Could not hit the ball on the ground. So one out, and here's Ed Conley Jr. I would like to pinch hit here. Raditz. We can probably get him through two innings. It would be tough to get him through three, though. Dalton Jones is on deck. Early slightly tired. Arnold, Arnold Early, the lefty, will get up. And we're going to go with Felix Mantilla is going to pitch it for Ed Conley Jr. Moment of truth here. Red Sox got to knock these runs in. As Beatles Attorney says, playing the 1975 National League Championship Series in the background. What game are you using, my friend? All right, here comes Felix Mantia batting 243, six home runs, 20 ribbies. He's going to pinch hit with Clinton at third and pursue at first. He does. He likes to look at some pitches. He'll be taking from uh, Duliba. Here's the pitch from Duliba to Mantia, and that's a strike. 0-1. Mantilla will take again. They come inside, and that is a ball. 1-1 count. And Mantilla with a 1-1 count batting 375. Duliba gives up a 500 batting average advantage. Mantilla. Clinton's at third. Pursues at first. 1-0 Red Sox. One out. Duliba's ready. The windup and the pitch to Felix Mantilla. Mantilla swings, and that ball is gone. That is a crush shot to left. 
A pinch hit home run for Felix Mantilla. And just like that, the Red Sox take a 4-0 lead. What a crush shot from Felix Mantilla. The opportunity was right. 375 for him. 500 for Duliba. Results, a boom goes the ball. And Felix Mantilla touches them all. Let's watch that blast over as it's 4-0 Red Sox. Boom goes the ball. Man, that's a crush shot. 377 to left. And it's 4-0 Boston. A few boo birds here in Los Angeles. Oh! Beatles is using strategy baseball. Cool. To do his 1975 National League Champion Ser Championship Series replay. And early is still warming. And Boston will now get the monster Dick Raditz up. Here's Dalton Jones. No outs. 4-0 Red Sox. Duliba deals to Dalton Jones. Oops, wrong thing. Here's the pitch. Jones grounds to second. Noop throws him out. One away. Here comes Tony Canigliero. He is 0 for 3. He'd love to go yard, make it 5 0. Duliba nods his head. Here's the pitch to Tony Canigliero. 0 2. Swing and a miss. He's 0 for 4, and the side is retired. We go to the 7th inning stretch. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for its root, root, root for your home team. If they lose, it's a shame. For its one, two, three strikes are out at the old ball game. We go to the bottom of the 7th. And it's 4-0 Red Sox. And Arnold Early will come in to pitch. They'll take the one spot. Dalton Jones will come out. Staying in the play second, the much better defensive player, Felix Mantilla, who hit the three-run pinch hit homer. And when's Dick Stewart come up? Dick Stewart's coming up second in the inning, so he'll stay in. After he gets his at-bat, we're going to go to uh, Tony Thornton. All right, here's Joe Adcock. Here's the pitch from Arnold Early. He's 1-3, and three, and Early has two saves. ERA, 4.75. I'm sorry, 2.70. He struck out 29, walked 10. Here's the pitch to Adcock. 1-2 count. Adcock rips a shot over the leaping Brassou into center. And here comes Lee Thomas. Raditz is ready. Let's sit him down. Let's not tire him out. Lefty-lefty matchup. He's batting 226 against left-handed pitching. Early deals to Thomas. 1-2. Swing and a miss. One away. He'll face another lefty, Ed Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is 0 for 2. He's batting below 200. Adcock slow as dirt at first. Red Sox move to double play depth. Early takes a peek to first, but Stewart playing behind Adcock. Now he deals to Kirkpatrick. 2-1. Kirkpatrick swings. Fly ball. Left center field. Yastrzemski on the run. Canigliere on the run. Yaz calls off. Tony C. There's two away. Retreating back to first is Adcock. And here comes Bobby Noop. He's batting 233 versus lefties. Red Sox would really like Arnold Early to get through this inning. Raditz is back up in the pen. He's ready. Early takes a deep breath. The windup and the pitch to Noop. Ground ball to Mantilla. He backhands it, races to the second base bag, steps on it, and the side is retired. Hats off to Arnold Early. 
We go to the top of the eighth, four nothing Boston. Raditz will sit down. Here comes Yastrzemski. One for two. He'll face Bob Duliba, who gave up that three-run pinch hit homer. Bobby Cantilano is late to arriving to the ball game. How are you doing? She says, this isn't zombies. No, I didn't feel like playing zombies. Here's the pitch to Yaz. 1-0, Yastrzemski, line shot to center. It hangs up, making the catch as Pearson, one down. Dick Stewart steps to the plate. Dr. Strangelove is one for three. Bob Duliba picks up the sign from Sat Triano. Pitch homeward bound. 0-1. Stewart punches it to left. Coming in is Kirkpatrick. He's not going to get there. Drops in front of him. Stewart picks up his second hit. And here comes Frank Malzone. One for three with a ribby. Right-handed pull hitter. Adcock playing behind Stewart. Here's the pitch to Malzone. And Malzone sends at the left center field. On the run is Pearson. He makes the catch two away. Retreating back to first is Dr. Strangelove Dick Stewart. And here's Lou Clinton. Dick Raditz will get back up in the pen. He's ready. <clears throat> Tony Horton, well, he's slow as dirt, too, so it doesn't matter. There you go. Roman Mejias, he's slow as dirt. Dick Williams. I thought we had one guy who could run. It's not Geiger. I know it's not him. Is it Schilling? Eh, he's not that good either. All right, Stewart will run for himself. Here's the pitch to Clinton. And Clinton rips a shot over the leaping noop. And going 90 feet and stopping is Dick Stewart. And here comes Eddie Brissou. Brissou's one for three. Two outs, two on, four nothing Red Sox. Raditz is ready. Let's sit him down quickly, though. Don't want to tire him out. Brissou awaits the offering from Duliba. Pitch incoming. 1-2. Swing and a miss. The Red Sox leave two. We go to the bottom of the eighth. 4 nothing Boston. And Satriano is up. He's a lefty. So early we'll face him. And then we're going to go to Raditz. Tom Satriano. The catcher is 0 for 1. Lefty, lefty matchup. Here's the pitch from Arnold Early. 0-2. Swing and a miss. One away. And here comes Jimmy Pearsall, nutsy. He's batting 236 with a homer and seven ribbies, the former Red Sox. And he's only batting 225 off lefties. Let's go with a mound visit here. Let's actually sit Raditz for a moment. Mound visit. I feel good. All right, Early's going to stay in. Here's the pitch to nutsy, Jimmy Pearsall. And nutsy. Sends a fly ball to Tony Canigliero. Moves a little bit to his right. Makes the catch two away. And Albie Pierce in the lefty will face Arnold Early. He's 0 for 3. Early rocks and fires to Pearson. That's a base hit through the right side. And I forgot to put in Tony Thornton. And we'll just pretend that I put in Tony Thornton because he's coming in the game now. So Tony Thornton will come in to play first, as he's a seven first baseman. Replacing a very defensively challenged Dick Stewart. I don't have anyone who can really play center, so Canigliero will play center. All right. Actually... Geiger is a five in center field. Mejias is a one. All right, Canigliero will stay in. Runner at first, two outs. Bottom of the eighth, four nothing Red Sox, Raditz. He's warming up again. Here's the pitch from Early. 
Swing and a miss. Arnold early. Excellent work. Tiring and all he strikes out. Coopy. Copy. We go to the top of the ninth. As they play car wash, even though the movie didn't exist yet. 4 nothing Boston. Let's sit Raditz down. He will come in. Here's Bob Tillman, and the new pitcher is Bill Kelso. Kelso is 3-0 with an 8.53 earned run average. Can you say run support? He struck out 11, walked 14. Overall, above average stuff. Average movement, below average control. Here's the pitch to Tillman. 3-0. That's inside, ball four. Felix Mantilla, who hit the three-run pinch hit homer, comes to the plate. He'll be taking. Here's the pitch. That's inside. Ball one. Now he's ready to grip and rip ahead in the count. Tillman's at first. Adcock playing behind him. Satriano pounding the mitt, imploring Kelso to hit the target. Here's the pitch to Mantilla. One, two. Mantilla grounds to Kopi, who goes to Noop and on to Adcock. That is a six to four to three double play. And now getting up in the pen to hopefully get the final three outs is Dick Raditz. He's ready to go. Pinch hitter for Arnold early will be Dick Williams. So Dick Williams will pinch hit. He'll go on to manage the 1967 Red Sox, the impossible dream team that won the American League pennant and would lose in seven to the St. Louis Cardinals and Bob Gibson. Here's Dick Williams batting 111. He did get a hit in his last pinch hitting appearance, and he has above average power. Kelso deals to Williams. Two outs, no one on. Four nothing Red Sox, top of the ninth. 0 oh, 1. Williams swings, and he drives his ball left center field gap, but it's going to hang up there. And Pearson makes the catch. When it goes bad, it goes bad. He got a pretty decent piece of that. So we go to the bottom of the ninth, and it'll be Dick Raditz to try to get the final three outs here. And the Red Sox hoping to split this four game series. So Raditz will come in to pitch. And we might move Yastrzemski to center. Yeah, Yaz is moving to center. <laughs> Yastrzemski will move to center. And Caligniero will move to left. So we just swap Yaz to center and Canigliero to left. So Canigliero and left, 6 out of 10 defense, 9 out of 10 arm. Yastrzemski, 8 out of 10 defense, 10 out of 10 arm, and Clinton still in right. And here's Dick Raditz, the monster. He is 0-1. He has 7 saves and a 3.42 earned run average. He struck out 23, walked 12. He will face Moran, Adcock, and Thomas. Can the Red Sox get the final three outs? As Joesters Cards and Coins is here at the ballpark in L.A. How you doing, my friend? Check out that fun channel. I just subscribed to it today. It picked up a lot of cool... 1975 cards, which are the 74 season. I have a bunch of those in my closet. I gotta check those out. I have the Goose Gossage one. So here's Billy Moran, third baseman's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Raditz to Moran. Moran swings at the first pitch. Fly ball, right center field on the run is Clinton. He calls off. Yastrzemski makes the catch one away. Raditz two outs away. Commanding this ball game. Here comes Joe Adcock, right-handed pull hitter, one for two. Red Sox infield outfield will shift left. The monster Dick Raditz up on the bump. He's ready to work. He deals to Adcock. Power versus power. 0-2 oh, count. Swing and a miss. Blows the fastball by him high and tight. Red Sox one out away. D. Scott Howard at the ballpark. How you doing, my friend? The monster. Now we'll face Lee Thomas. Thomas is 0 for 3. Red Sox looking for a split in this series. 
looking for their 17th win in a reversal of fortunes. Raditz looks in at Tillman, nods his head. He deals to Thomas. 1-0, Thomas swings, and that's a base hit to center. As they play charge, how appropriately. All right, so here comes Ed Kirkpatrick. Still struggling, batting only 185, one homer, eight ribbies. He's 0 for 3 today. Righty-lefty matchup for Raditz. Tony Horton at first, holding on Thomas. Why, I don't know. We're up four. Here's the pitch from Raditz to Kirkpatrick. Full count, and he walked him. Oh, that sinking feeling when managing the 64 Red Sox. Tying runs in the on-deck circle, and that's where we want it to stay as here comes Bobby Noop. Second baseman is one for three. Raditz rubbing up the baseball. Tillman has a word with him. Now back behind the plate. Squats down. The monster ready to work. Here comes the Godzilla pitch to Bobby Noop. 2-2 two -two count. And it gets away from Tillman as Raditz is imploding on the mound. Two out, second and third. Full count. The Red Sox have no one left in their bullpen. Except Bill Mambo Cat, he's tired. <laughs> um, and I'm assuming he's going to start the next game. <laughs> Earl Wilson, he's slightly tired. Actually, he'll probably start the next game. I wonder if we have a travel day. Earl Wilson's going to get up. That's a bad idea probably, but just in case. As he quickly starts tossing the baseball. Two outs, two on, four nothing. Bobby Noop at the plate. Satriano represents the tying run on deck. The windup and the pitch from Raditz to Noop. 3-2. Ground ball. Slowly hit the mal zone. He throws to Horton. The ball game is over. The Red Sox struggle, but they win 4 nothing. Powered by the three-run pinch hit homer by Felix Mantilla. The winning RBI goes to Frank Malzone, though, as he knocked it in in the top of the first. So the Red Sox split with the Angels here in L.A. As they win the second game of the doubleheader, 4-0. The Red Sox took game one of the series, lost games two and three, and won game four, the second game of the doubleheader. Let's quickly go. Player of the game. The pinch hitter, Felix Mantia, and I will agree with that. Bill Spanswick getting the start in the doubleheader. Went three innings, one hit, one walk, one K. Hefner got the win. He's 2-0. Actually dropped his ERA down to 7.12. He went two scoreless innings, two walks, no hits, no runs, no strikeouts. Ed Conley Jr. went an inning, struck out one, gave up nothing. Arnold Early. Uh, I think also I'm going to have to give him a cold player of the game. Tiring and all, he went two innings, gave up two hits, but struck out three and gave up no runs. Dick Raditz got the first two outs and struggled to get the third. He doesn't get a save because they were up four runs. The losing pitcher for the Angels is Latman. He's now three and five, as he only went three and a third. He was followed by Lee, Duliba, and Kelso. It was Deliba who gave up the home run to Felix Mantilla, player of the game. The Red Sox in victory. Dalton Jones was 0 for 4. The pinch hitter Dick Williams was 0 for 1. Tony Canigliero was 0 for 4. He struck out twice. Average for Tony C has now dropped down to 286 with 10 homers, 20 ribbies. Yastrzemski was 1 for 3 with a run scored in a walk. He had an error. Dick Stewart was 2 for 4 with a strikeout. Tony Horton came in to play first, did not bat. Frank Malzone, 1 for 4, but knocked in a run. Lou Clinton, 3 for 4 with a run scored. Eddie Bursu, 1 for 3 with a run scored. He struck out twice. Tillman, Bob Tillman, 0 for 3 with a walk. Spanswick was 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Hefner was 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Conley, pitch, did not hit. And Felix Mantia had the... Pinch hit, three-run homer, was one for three and three ribbies and the homer. The Red Sox in victory, 35 at-bats, four runs, nine hits, four ribbies, two walks, seven Ks. For the Los Angeles Angels, they only had four hits. P. 
Pearson had one, Adcock had one, Thomas had one, and Noop had one. Everyone else was an over. They struck out six times. Pearson, Kopey, Adcock, Thomas twice, and Satriano once. They had 30 at-bats, no runs, four hits as I stated, no ribbies, four walks, six Ks. Red Sox left four runners on base. The Angels left six. The Red Sox improved their record to 17 and 29. The Angels dropped to 26 and 23. Well, let's finish the day. As you can see, the Red Sox got the split, and we'll check the standings and call it a stream. Finish today. You've received a message. I don't care. I don't look at my messages. We're playing historical transactions and lineups. So the Red Sox have an off day, thank God, because their pitching staff is dead tired. Let's see if there's any interesting matchups. Ooh, Bob Gibson. Oh, that's an interesting matchup. If that's the real matchup, that might be a game we'll show. Let's just see if that's the right pitching matchup. Gibson and Dick Ellsworth. So Gibson is the right starter, but Ellsworth is not. Um, let's cancel that. So it's not... Oh, no, it is. I'm sorry. And Sandy Koufax at 8-1. and one. Chris Short. So we might show those two games where I just called them. Red Sox aren't playing. We're not going to do that tonight. Let's just go to the standings real quick. So Minnesota has the lead two games over the White Sox and three and a half over the Orioles, five and a half over Detroit. The Yankees are ten back. They actually won the pennant. Milwaukee has a seven game lead over the Reds and St. Louis is eleven and a half back so it doesn't look like there's going to be a repeat of reality. Pittsburgh is eight back. So that's how the standings are. The Red Sox are fifteen back. Only five behind the Yankees. So that's interesting. All right. So those are the standings. Until next time, health and happiness. Thank you to everyone. I'd like to thank Beatles Eternally. Please check out their channel, Robbie Warper. Uh, Joesters, Cards, and Coins, a fun channel I just subscribed to. Um, Bobby Cantalano, please check out her Facebook page. My Twitter wife, D. Scott Howard. Check out his channel with the lovely goat videos. As he goats, if they're cute little bastards, but don't fall asleep. They might chew everything off you. WVOGS18, another fun channel. Check him out. Card collecting. Dave Gardner, again, prayers and thoughts go out to your mom. It's awesome that you're able to talk to her. First time in a couple weeks, he said. And check out his channel. As prayers and thoughts go out to Dave Gardner's mom going through health issues and all the well wishes to her. She's going to get better, Dave. And my partner in crime, the original Grognard, will be doing a chat with Al this Saturday. Hopefully he'll be there. Ron Juckett. JD, check his channel out. OG, the original Grognard, all things strategy and women's wrestling. And JD just finished up Call of Duty World War II. He also has UFC and MLB The Show. And much, much more. So thank you to everyone. Health and happiness. Till next time. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. The Red Sox win. Yay! 4 nothing. The big pinch hit. Three-run homer by Felix Mantilla. As that wiped out that horrible taste in my mouth of the Mets game I played. Uh, so watch out for the curveball in the dirt. God bless. You know what's coming, folks. Peace.